Um, thanks so much for a really fantastic uh, presentation. Um, I think the, um, my name is Lisa Calderwood. I work at the um, University College London on the birth cohorts, on the cohort studies we have in, in the UK. Um, I think the, the, the data that you showed about exclusions of children from the child-based and kind of classroom-based assessments that are very widely used for kind of international comparisons was is very concerning and um of, i think you know for those of us who are well I, i'm personally not that a close user of those data sets but um probably those things probably are reasonably well known perhaps amongst the user community but perhaps not if not fantastic work to shed a light on that um i just wondered what what the sort of response has been to that kind of information like has um i mean there's i guess some of those or whether you had any further reflections on 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 that i mean some of those things are inherent like limitations i think your main point was that those things are, are sort of inherent kind of limitations about child um classroom based studies so perhaps um those are there's not that much that can be done to sort of improve those data sets and i guess that kind of speaks to the kind of need for having um having a kind of new birth cohort um across europe um but yeah i just wondered whether you had any sort of further kind of um reflections on on that um. great then thanks so much um lisa um so when i published the first paper um which showed the special educational needs data with oecd after pisa had reviewed the the draft um the following survey they included what they call pisa coverage index pisa coverage in index and they included three types of index um to suggest that that they were actually so they could link their target populations with the coverage of the child population um they don't read right to me um because they don't match the rates of children with special educational needs statements which in pisa uh, in pisa the exclusion is on whether you're taught in a different class or a different school um than a mainstream school um, so I, I'm, yeah, I, I think that people were picking up on it. So the, my second point or my second thought is that it's something I, I asked PISA to do and Tim's and Pearls and HBSC, we convened them together, OECD and UNICEF convened them all together sometime around 2017. And we said, you really need like, a, you can't just say this data is for professional users and then just let it go. You really need to tell people the steps they ought to take to ensure that they're not letting bias get through to their analysis. And that they still haven't done that. Um, it's, it's quite a closed community, to be honest, the child um, school-based children's surveys, though HBSC are doing a great job in, in, in taking on board um, advice from others, I think. Um, but like even like a 10-step sort of troubleshooting list I, I don't see um weighting adjustments being used regularly in the analysis I read that use that data so in some way I don't I don't know how it's getting through uh to the uh, the uh, the, uh, to the getting through to academia um I think it'd be worthwhile I, I didn't present any of the data the, the 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 sort of exclusion steps we did for household surveys um, but the, you know, there's literature on that. Uh, it's something that needs to be checked. Whatever you're collecting, I mean, the the cohort studies have issues with obviously attrition, etc. Um, the what's it? The, the Australians have been very good at uh, addressing. You know, the what's the guys that manage the um, Australian uh, longitudinal studies, particularly the one they've got on sole parents. They've been really good at man managing attrition on that. But the idea of sort of um, sort of stepping out where the risks are and then considering what the, the the mitigation would be for those risks with the longitudinal or the household studies would be the same and some interesting things like parents that work long hours don't answer the door to the guy who wants to ask them about the family resources survey um it's not the same type of exclusions but there are the, the same types of there are similar errors sometimes and and there are uh, issues with 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 non-response on items that may be considered sensitive, particularly around income. 
uh, which is never really that accurate. Okay, um, but, but thanks for the question. I hope that helps. <laughs>